Okay, we did a uh, post yesterday on uh, Guerrilla Warfare about using Google Analytics, getting it installed, getting that up and running. Wanted to do a real quick overview. Kind of easier to do a movie than actually just try to explain it all out and this and that. So we are looking at Guerrilla Warfare's Google Analytics. This is the default screen that pops up every time I load it up. As you can see by default, it does the last 30 days. So this is July 14th through August 13th. So you can see our traffic's been pretty stable. 338 visits, 354, 387. We're actually at 417 yesterday. It was a good day, so that's good. A little over uh, 10,000 visits, almost 19,000 page views people actually looked at. We're averaging 1.83 pages a visit. Our bounce rate is 44%, and what the bounce rate is is that means someone basically came to our site and then left right after that, and that's a little higher, but it's not a bad thing. It's because of the way we have strengthening structure, and I'll show you that here in just a second. Our average time on the site, a little under three minutes. Once again, a little low, but I'll show you something, a kind of a little thing that confused me too. And then almost 70% of our visitors are new visitors, which I absolutely love. The reason why we have a, a relatively low page per visit, a relatively high bounce rate, is we actually have a lot of pages on our website, where if you look right here, Lizzie 40 Books, let's go down, here's Kira's Moon. This page right here is what a lot of websites link to. And so if someone clicks on that to link, download the book, they come here, and basically they don't want to spend a lot of time looking at a lot of different pages. They just want to go straight and download the book. Now, don't get me wrong. Some do look at our site, and that's the reason why we do this. Is kind of like a little middleman. They can click here or here and go download it for free, but then they know they're here. They can read comments, reviews, different things like that. So it's kind of a good way to do things. Makes the numbers a little skewed from different, but eh, whatever. And if you look down here, traffic sources overview, it's kind of funny. It's the exact opposite of way. You know, over 90% of the websites, the vast majority of their visits are going to be coming from Google, or is the exact opposite? We actually have referring sites being about 80% of our traffic, then another 10% search engine and 10% just direct. Direct means that basically it's something either someone clicked on the bookmark and came there, or actually just typed your site name into a browser, or they came from like a Word doc, a PDF, but not a website. Search engines, obviously, Google being Yahoo, those, and then referring sites, they just clicked on a link from another website, which is, like I said, where we get most of ours. But enough of that. So here's the main dashboard. We can see the activity here for the last 30 days, these total numbers, and here you can see the most popular pages that people have looked at when they've been coming. We've had almost 4,500 page views on this Katie's Hellion page, 23,000 just to the main page, or 2,300, excuse me, to the main page of the site, over 2,000 to another Katie's Hellion, 1,800 to Warlord's Secret, and 1,500 to Maddie's Oasis, which that's pretty good because that just came out. Little thing on the visitors here. Visitors is unique from visits up here. This is just the raw number of visits. This is actual unique people that come to visit, but obviously they usually line up fairly closely. And then a map overview at heel. We'll look at this real quick. I don't usually use it too much, but you can see just the real quick overview. Most of our traffic comes from the U.S. India is pretty good to us. Philippines, Canada, the U.K., obviously. Let's look at the U.S. in a little more depth. So if you click on a country right there, it actually brings up a map of the country. And you can see, okay, it looks like California, Texas, New York, and Florida account for most of our stuff. So if you wanted to see where specifically, say, in California it was, click on California. Okay, 496 visits. And now you can kind of see within California in that time period where they're coming from, and the numbers are down here. 55 from Chula Vista, 49 from L.A., 37 from San Francisco. And if you want to, you can actually see what's bringing these people to our site if you want to do. If you wanted to see, hey, what keywords are they searching you know, you can actually come here, click on keyword, it'll say, okay, you can see people in California, 403 didn't use search engine, Lizzie Ford, Gorilla Ward Fair, just some different terms, but I don't usually use that too terribly much, just wanted to show you the feature. What I do to use is just kind of a general down here at the bottom, is I'll click on a view report on this one right here for the traffic sources, this is usually what I care about. Just brings up the exact numbers right there. And so then we can see for the 30 days, freeonlinenovels.com has sent us over 4,600 visits, get free ebooks over 1,600, or 1,000 direct, over 1,000 from Google. Smashwords is next up on the list. And then you can see keywords over here, what people are searching in Google to come to our site. Lizzie Ford, Rin Trilogy Book 2, Gorilla Wordfare, Damien's Oracle. Pretty good. What I normally do, honestly, is when I come in at night, I don't usually look at the 30-day view. 
I'll come over here. I'll just change it to one day. We'll look at yesterday. And then I'll just look at the numbers. So I can see, okay, 63% of our visitors, new visitors, Kira's Moon, Katie's Hellion, look like they were pulling him in, Warlord's Secret 2. Then we can come down here and we can see yesterday, okay. I actually had a 50 Google visits yesterday, not too shabby. Ten of them came from searching for Lizzie Ford, 8 Guerrilla Warfare, Christine got us a couple. So you can see just the different reasons that people are coming into your thing. And if you want to see more, you can click on here to the view report and go down. Okay, Goodreads. Okay, we had five Facebook referrals yesterday. We can click here to the next page. Three from Blogger, four from Oboco. It's good. Like I kind of said in the post that we did today, you can see the things that you're doing online. Are they paying off? Hey, I'm putting stuff here. How much traffic am I actually seeing? Is it worth the time to put my books on Oboco? How much traffic is it actually sending to my site? So it just kind of, and there's a lot more different things you can do. You can set up intelligence to where it'll shoot you emails or alerts on different things. You can go more in depth on visitors as far as map overlay, new versus returning, look at the languages. There's a lot of different things you can do, but that's a real brief introduction, kind of how we use Google Analytics to show us who's coming from our site, this and that. One thing I do want to mention before I go is if you come here back here to the dashboard, do, 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 this average time on site, how it actually calculates that, and this I'll tell you why it was confusing the heck out of when we first started doing it, is it doesn't know how much time you spend on a page. What it does is if you first come to our site on one page, you spend a minute and a half there, then you go to another, and then you leave, it's going to assume, okay, you spend a minute and a half on that first page, you spend a minute and a half on the second, so your average time on site, it'll make you three minutes, three minutes for that visit. The problem comes when someone comes to your page and then leaves your site, clicking on a download link, just clicking the back arrow, whatever. They don't know how much time you spent on that page, so it's zero. So when we didn't have a lot of traffic and I was looking like, oh, cool, we had eight visits to this page, the Damien's Oracle page, average time on site zero. What the heck? Is my tracking broke? Is something not working? Did I do something wrong? No, it's people are only there once. For a normal website, that could indicate a problem like, hey, this isn't the content that we're looking for for ours. Like I said, I'm not worried about it on those pages because a lot of times people are just coming looking straight to download the book. So that's a, like I said, a real quick overview. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, let me know. Thank you.